Many of you have heard his a little testimony on his tapes where he, uh, he went to the tent and there was nobody there. So he had to win the guy to, him, to the Lord by himself. It's so neat to hear him tell about that story, how he led that guy to Christ by reading a track to him word for word. And then at the very end, he didn't know what to do, so he said, well, it says pray the prayer. So he said, well, we better bow our head and close our eyes. So they did, and of course, you know, he kept one eye open so he could read that prayer off. Big old football player read the prayer after him and got saved. And he got down on his knees and said, God, if it's all right with you, I'd like to do this the rest of my life. And... And uh, that's exactly what he's been doing. Guys, would you please help me welcome to speak tonight, Dr. Ken Hoagland. In 36 years, and uh, that's still all I want to do. <laughs> Can't think of anything better I'd, I'd like to do than to bring people to Christ. And that's why we want to have this boot camp and train you to go do the same. If all you're chasing is money or trinkets or toys, you are really missing what life's all about. Find somebody and get them saved. If you can't get you a big one, get you a little one, okay? <laughs> but go get somebody. All right. <clears throat> We're going to cover tonight one of my favorite topics, dinosaurs the Bible. I remember <clears throat> as a brand new Christian, you get a glass of water, Eric, you can find me just a couple of them up here, half empty. I remember as a brand new Christian how confused I was by the subject of dinosaurs. Where did they fit in? There's one behind me? Oh, that was somebody else's, a little bit, uh, not a dinosaur, but a bottle of water. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't figure out where dinosaurs fit in. And so somebody gave me a Schofield Reference Edition Bible. And he said, well, there's a gap between verse 1 and verse 2, and there's billions of years in there, and you stick everything you don't understand in the gap. You know, kind of sweep it under the rug a little bit. How many have ever heard of the gap theory before? Yeah, well, that's what I fell into for several years. And I thought, well, that's okay. It didn't take me long to figure out, you know, no, wait, I got a problem here. Because if dinosaurs died before man got here, we got a problem. The Bible says man brought death into the world. Somebody's wrong. And it was dinosaurs that really confused me, and I hate to see kids confused about this, so we want to teach the truth. And it's an honor to have my wife here. I didn't know, is she out there still? She took off, all that. And, well, so that's just a picture of her. Uh, 33 years this summer, she gets the medal again. Oh, well. Uh, last summer, on our 32nd anniversary, the 30, yeah, we sat down and figured out how much money we spent since we got married. We have spent all of it. <laughs> and then some, actually. We live right here in Pensacola, Florida. Got all three kids there, one of each. Uh, thank you, son. And appreciate that. All right. And as I mentioned last night, I got them all married off and the dog died. Praise God, I made it. And they all live right around me and they all want to serve God, too. I wouldn't take nothing for that, okay. Amen. I've got four grandkids, hopefully a bunch more coming, and that's God's reward for not killing your own kids when you thought about it. Okay. We've got an amazing tribe. All live right around me. We like dinosaurs at our place. How many got to go see Dinosaur Adventure Land today? Okay. In case you can't figure out by looking at it, we really don't have a plan. Uh, <laughs> the basic goal of the whole Dinosaur Adventure Land is very simple. All my staff can tell you that. Someday, we want to just sell the lawnmower. Once everything gets covered by concrete and buildings, we can sell the lawnmower. That's basically the only plan we got, is to sell the mower. And God has given us just an absolutely amazing crew. And they did almost all the work for this. Last month, I traveled and spoke probably more than any month in my life ever. And so my son and all the rest of the staff have been working like crazy to do all that. I like all the CSE or Dinosaur Adventureland staff 
to stand up and come on down here to the front. These are the ones that do the work. I just take all the credit. All the CSE staff, come on, hurry, 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 let's go. All right, line up right across the front here, everybody. Hurry, hurry, hurry. We got one, one cameraman up there, one in the sound booth. We got more than this, judging by the payroll. We got, uh... <laughs> there's a bunch at the table out there. A bunch couldn't come tonight. They're coming in from outside. They didn't know this was coming. This is a surprise. Hurry, run, run. Come on, Heath. What are you doing playing around? Let's go. Okay. All right. This is the crew. Man, they just keep on coming. <laughs> Donnie. All right. Well, there's more than that, actually. Uh, there's up in the sound booth, there's two, one on the camera there. And there's my son walking across up there. Say hi, wave hi up, son, okay. Hi, can Andrew. <laughs> we have, I don't know, I think about 40 or 45 people that work at our place, and it just, God has brought us the most amazing crew. I'm constantly reminded of King David in the wilderness. Everybody came to him that was in trouble or being chased by the law or in debt, and <laughs> he made a mighty army of them. And God's done a great thing with us. Let's give him one more hand and you guys have a seat. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, reminds me of Psalms. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. <laughs> Dinosaur Adventureland is going to be open tomorrow for just two hours, okay? Two to four. If you didn't get to see it or want to see some more, and if you want to give some of our staff the so stick a $5 bill in their pocket or something and say, hey, thanks for what you do. They're the ones that do all the work around there. So the, some of the staff, we've invited them all to come. It's voluntary for them to come to work tomorrow. And same thing Monday. Normally we're closed Monday. But some of you drove a long ways to see it. So we're going to open from 10 to 2 uh, Monday, four more hours. And mostly just nobody in town is going to know about this. So just for those who came to the conference, we would like to help. We've got all kinds of cool activities at Dinosaur Adventureland. We've had about... Actually, I forgot. Uh, it's getting close to 50,000 visitors we've had come through there uh, since we started about three and a half years ago. I think 7,000 this year already. And that was, you know, with the hurricane last year, and the schools aren't allowed to get out now because they all, they've used up all their days, okay, from missing from the hurricane. We have quite an amazing crew. Uh, God has given us, uh, it just, I, I marvel at it, you know, the talent, the unbelievable talent. Almost everything there we build right in-house. Uh, let's see. But John Gusty built our dinosaur. He did a, home, did a class in here on how to do, use fossils for that. My grandkids love coming to Dinosaur Adventureland. We have about six acres is all we have. You could do this where you live, okay? Anybody could do this. What we're trying to do purposely is to build something simple, low-tech. I'm not going to spend $100 million on building some giant park that nobody else can duplicate, okay? I want to build something that everybody can duplicate. There ought to be one of these in every major city. Somebody, some of you ought to go home and do it. Now, we have about, all our scaff is scattered, scattered in eight different buildings. It's fiber optic lines running all over the place, trying to keep track of everybody and phone calls and a lot of time being wasted. We have a golden opportunity, and I really rarely do this. And if you folks get my newsletter, you understand, okay? We call it our every once in a while newsletter because we send it out every once in a while, okay? We have a golden opportunity, I think. Right now, this uh, property is uh, Williams Hardware is closed down. Some of you got to go in there today, and he wants to sell me the property, commercial property, right 